In the United States this year, an estimated 134,000 people will be diagnosed with colorectal cancer, and about 49,000 will die from the disease. Most colorectal cancer occurs after people are 50, and the rates go up as you get older. Dr. Douglas Owens, an author of the recommendation and a former member of the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force, says the group strongly recommends screening average risk adults age 50 to 75 for colorectal cancer and then making individual screening decisions for adults age 76 to 85, taking into account the patient's overall health and screening history. There are a number of ways to be screened for colorectal cancer, and the good news is, is that they are effective. Those include direct visualization tests like a colonoscopy and also stool-based tests. The important thing is that you choose one and be screened. The new task force recommendations appear in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. For people 76 to 85, the benefits of screening are smaller, but some people may still benefit. People who've never been screened before and who are healthy enough to undergo treatment for colorectal cancer, should it be diagnosed, and who don't have other conditions that would limit their life expectancy. The decision to screen for colorectal cancer in this older age group should be individualized and take that patient's overall health into account. About a third of people in the United States who should be getting screening for colorectal cancer are not being screened currently, and that's an important missed opportunity. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.